Well, the war has come, the battle lines are drawn, and now it's time to talk about strategy. The first real battle of the Civil War, Fort Sumter was the one that started it, but the first real battle is the battle of, first battle of Bull Run. And it's gonna occur over here between Richmond and Washington, D.C. And both sides thought this was gonna be a pretty easy war. The North thought they were just gonna swamp out the Confederacy and the Southerners, well, they kind of assumed that the North would get bored of fighting and just quit. Um, after the Battle of Bull Run, which proved there's going to be a long, hard-fought war because no side really went, really won, um, but it was a, a just a melee. Uh, both sides tried to dig in, and the North is going to come up with its strategy, and that is um, the Anaconda plan. And just like a snake, an Anaconda is going to surround the enemy and squeeze it out. There's three parts to this plan. The first is a naval blockade. Remember, we talked about this. Um, the South doesn't really have a navy. So the Union is going to use their arm, their Navy in order to surround the Confederacy to make sure that they, they can't sell their cotton to Britain or any of those other countries. So they can't get any money in and any, they can't get any supplies. The second is control the Mississippi River. Right. By controlling the Mississippi River, they're going to cut the Confederacy in half. They're going to isolate uh, the eastern half from the western half and they won't be able to get any supplies from, say, Texas or Louisiana. And the third part is surround and control Richmond. By doing this, you're going to starve out the Confederates and rather than having to, to kill them on the battlefield. So they're going to surround Richmond here. Now, the Southerners, for their part, they see this as a war of attrition, much like Washington fought the American Revolution. Uh, they don't have the technology, the money, the weapons. Uh, they're just, they, they, are the, they have less stuff. So they're going to fight this war of attrition so that... Uh, the North is going to have to spend lots of money, spend lots of men, uh, and eventually they'll just get sick of this and go home. But for this to work, they need foreign allies. They're looking to Britain and France. Now, Britain had a tradition of, of they had already liberated their slaves, so they, they're kind of an abolitionist country. Britain is eventually going to pass on this for a couple of different reasons. Uh, one is going to be the Emancipation Proclamation. Two is that General Lee has tried to prove their worth by invading the North twice. Uh, he fails at Antietam, he fails at Gettysburg, and they don't really have that Battle of Saratoga moment like in the Revolution, which is going to convince the Allies to join. Uh, King Cotton fails in the South as well. Uh, they thought that they could keep getting supplies and money from Britain uh, as long as they could trade their cotton, but because of the Anaconda Plan, this doesn't work. Uh, by the end of the Revo by the end of uh, the Confederacy, um, inflation has just heavily damaged them, and people are starving because they don't have allies, because they don't have all the stuff, they are going to implement a draft in the South. Uh, and that draft is going to be highly unpopular because poor people feel like they're the ones doing all the fighting. Meanwhile, the, the planter elites, those enslavers uh, that were the ones that were causing the war, um, a lot of them could get out of it. Now, there is going to be a draft in the North, but not until 1863 or so. Uh, and it's going to be highly unpopular there as well. Um, and while we're here, there were no black Confederate soldiers. Um, there's no evidence of that. There might be some black people that were in Confederate uniforms. Most often, those were enslaved people that were forced to be on the lines, uh, and they were mainly just body servants or um, manual labor. Um, no evidence of a, the black Confederate soldiers. So there we go.